distractions, the scourge of university life. Today we meet three troubled students suffering from distractions. Can I help them? Absolutely. Are they willing to change? Let's find out. This is an all too familiar scene. The TV is on. The music is loud. The papers are strewn everywhere. This is a classic case of environmental distractions. This is a more subtle example. Notice the nervous nail biting, frazzled hair, inability to sit still, obviously suffering from test anxiety. Sometimes, studying can be the last thing we would like to do. At times like this, our thoughts are more likely to be filled with weekend plans than scholarly ambitions. Daydreaming of what you'd rather be doing can be horribly distracting. What a troubled bunch of students. Some people say they're idiots. They all seem to be missing something. Self-efficacy. If they believe in themselves, they just might change. Make sure to declutter your environment from anything you don't need. Block out meaningful noises, especially if you are introverted. Set break time to indulge. Recognize when you are physically depleted or emotionally depleted. This can lead to distraction. Realize that 90% of what we worry about cannot be changed. Focus on what you can fix. Break down problems into manageable segments so that you can work towards a resolution. Create a worry box of your anxieties and set a time to deal with them all together. Watch out for positive mood distractors. They might help you feel better in the short term, but will cause long-term pain. Promise yourself a reward upon your success. Prioritize and switch between tasks that require high and low attention. The check mark technique. Write a check mark on a piece of paper each time and then one thought comes to mind. Try to lower the number of check marks on subsequent study sessions. Thought stopping technique. Make thinking about unwanted thoughts uncomfortable. Slight physical pain every time you think of an unwanted thought could help. So what have we learned today? With some self-efficacy, a dash of encouragement, and homegrown dedication. You can be on your way to scholastic success.